Welcome to a short tutorial on the Lunar Observation uh, Project. I'm going to be going through highlight some of the key points for you um, in it. So probably print it off would be the best. I know you can, especially the very last page, because this is your data anal analysis sheet. You certainly can retype it all if you want, but there's no need to. Just print it off and you can just write on to it. When you're done, you can either scan these or you can uh, just take a picture with your with your cell phone or, or, or digital camera and send them to me. If that doesn't work naturally, you, you can just uh, write it up yourself, type it up, but that's a lot of extra work which you don't need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go through the, the de details of this project, hopefully to make you more familiar. You can certainly read about them. This is a supplemental to that. Some people rather see a visual than um, and hear something rather than just uh, read it on their own, okay? So the whole project is worth 200 points, okay? But it's broken up into two parts. This was based on student feedback where they didn't want the whole thing done at once. So you have about six weeks, and it's listed in your syllabus, the exact due date, to do part one, which is the data collection. Now, you need to observe the moon for 30 days, okay? But only every other day. You, don't ha you can go every day, but there's no need to because it doesn't change that much. And you need to record. So you just be like an astronomer, and you're actually collecting data. So you're actually doing an experiment looking at the moon. So it's really important that you understand this sheet. Um, the only part is the phases of the moon. It seems to give people a little bit of trouble. I have in the frequently asked questions some pointers on that. Uh, basically, you want to see where in the night sky, where overhead is it. So if it's straight up, it would be on this little arc, which goes east to west. You would put it right above the little man. Okay? If it's on the horizon, if it's just rose, you know, it's going to rise, you're going to find out it always rises in the east and sets in the west. So if it just rose, you draw a little dot there. The other is the compass rose around you. So you just, for your location, you have to know where is north. And then you just sort of look. Because I want you to try, the, the, the individual mean not, not, doesn't mean a whole lot. It's the, the cumulative, the trend. How does it change, okay, based on the time since the moonrise? as well as, um, well, yeah, it's really it's the time since then. So really important that you understand how the moon, because the moon isn't what you think it is. Many people are shocked because you can't see the moon um, every night. Sometimes it's only in the daytime. So you, you'll, need to un you'll understand that by doing this project. The biggest, by far, the biggest suggestion is don't procrastinate. That's another reason for you having to do this in the first six weeks. It takes four weeks to collect the data. So... You can wait a week, but then you really need to get going, okay? So I'm expecting to see about 15 observations from you. It could be a little bit less. That's okay. A little bit more is fine. All you have to do is submit this, and that is part one. That is worth 60 points of your overall. Um, that's probably the most time-consuming. Now, there are some precautions. And let me see. People always ask me this. So you do not have to observe the same time every night. Obviously, the moon rise is going to change, which you're going to find out. So you don't have to even have the same amount of time since the moon rise. It's great if you do, but that's no requirement at all. You don't have to get up in the middle of the night. You don't have to get up at, at 2 in the morning to go look at the moon. Just to figure out when it rises. You can only see it between moon rise and moon set, just like the sun. You can't see the sun after sunset. you got to see it between sunrise and sunset. So the same thing is with the uh, moon. If it's not risen, you're not going to see it. Okay, so just plan. Sometimes you're going to have to go before you go to bed. Other times when you get up in the morning. Sometimes it'll be in the afternoon. Okay, there's a, there's a pattern for that which you need to uncover. Okay, you don't have to observe from the same location. You know, you just really need to know where is north, south, east, and west from whatever location you're at. So if you have a compass, if your phone shows it, great. If you can base it on a freeway, you know, then that's fine. Okay. And you don't have to start at a particular moon phase. You can start at any phase. I want you to see all of the phases. There's a certain duration for the cycle, which is a little bit less than 30 days, which you'll find out. It's one of the questions that I ask you. Okay, so assuming that you've got that, and actually on page 3, I kind of explain for each of the data things. I give an example, and then over here I have a little discussion. See if that helps. If not, email me if you're still, still struggling. The uh, biggest thing is to get started because you, you, you'll find that that's the hardest part of, by far on this project. Once you've submitted that, you have about a month. Now, check the syllabus for the exact uh, time, but you have to analyze the data. There's certain things you need to do. So this would be the, the, it's actually parts two through five. 
They're due at the, they're worth in total 140. You add that to the 60, that's how you get the 200 points. 20% of your grade. If you finish this part and submit it uh, more than uh, one week early, as noticed on the syllabus, uh, you'll get a 10% uh, plus up, which is a whole letter grade. And if you already had an A, you're going to get you know an A plus. You'll get extra credit points. So I encourage you to do that. Not every, very few actually take 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 advantage of that. The first part is a title difference. You need to select a location along the coast. Uh, you know, if you live right there, great. If not, and if you live out of state, even just find a coast that's roughly equivalent with your um, with with the latitude you're at. So if you're if you happen to be in, in North Carolina, pick one on the North Carolina coast. If you're down in Key West, pick one uh, you know at the uh, in the Keys. Okay, so you fill in this chart again for the days that you observe it is all you have to do. So the day that you do a, a lunar observation, you need to record the data. We're looking for the highest high tide and the lowest low tide. Okay, there's most days there's two of each, two high tides, two low tides. We want the highest high and the lowest low. And then you're going to take the difference between the two. You subtract them. But if, a, if, if the lowest low is a negative, what happens when you subtract a negative? That's like adding, right? So it gets your difference is bigger than either one of those. And then list, the, there's, a, there's a sample right here. So you can just follow along with that. Now that's for 20 points. Now the other part is the title difference graph. I want you to graph that data. I have in the online uh, directions to use Excel, but you might not use Excel or not be comfortable with that. You can just you know take a sheet of paper and, and draw an axis and individually plot the points by hand and draw it with a crayon. Take a picture of it or scan it and send it to me. That's fine. Okay. If you know how to use Excel, I'd recommend you do it. It's much easier. It looks nicer. But um, all right. So that's the part two. Part three is analysis of the lunar phases and moons. So there's some questions, and you have to address each of the things. Each one is worth 20 points, the lunar phase and the tidal correlation analysis. And there's some specific questions. How does this correlate? You should see a relationship between the, the lunar phases and the tidal differences on your graph. Okay? Well, I want to see what you come up with. And I want you to talk about some general patterns. Actually, this is the first part. Lunar phase analysis about the phases of the moon. Do they ever change? How often do they change? Okay, The times for moon rise and moon set, how do they change? How do they differ each day? The location of the moon in the sky based on the hours since uh, moon rise, which would be when you take your observation. So you're going to have to just look at your data, plot it somehow, or just look at it. But, but you need to discuss those points to get full credit. Okay, so that's part three. Part four is application of knowledge. This is probably the easier part. The first part is a lunar myth buster. I want you to find, maybe you know a, a myth about the moon, like it's made of cheese. Then I want you to disprove it or come up with a, an experiment to, to disprove it. If you can't find some a reference where someone has disproven it. You know, that we've sent people to the moon. They've walked on it. They brought it back. They know it's not moon. It's not cheese. All right? So put, you got to cite a reference for mostly, anytime you use something outside of the, the course, you put a reference. Just put a hyperlink is fine. In fact, I'd probably prefer it, and I can go check it myself. All right, just put a little link where you got what you got. And the second part is the fishermen and the lunar phases, okay? Not the tidal difference, which you'll find. You, you can, there is stuff online. Go find your favorite fisherman or call up your dad or whatever or your friends that, that really fish. But you want to know about the lunar phases and fishing. See what you can come up with that. All right, that's part four. That's worth uh, 40 points for those two sections. And the last part is a reflection. To sit back and say, you know, how, and there's three questions. What would you learn from this project? Give me a list. Bulletize is fine, but spell things right, okay? I, I will take off if you have bad spelling or grammar. Uh, discuss what you liked and disliked, okay? I know, I know some things you're probably going to say you dislike getting up in the middle of the night, but you don't have to do that. So if you do it, it's your own fault. And um, list any recommendations that you have for the project, okay? And, and I take those serious, and I will um, uh, improve it. I've changed things this time, and I'll change it next time. So there is a checklist, which you can find online. If not, let me know. And you can get a bonus by following through the checklist, and that will also help you with your grade. Okay? So I think by doing all this, You'll know more about the moon than 90% of the people uh, and all of your friends and 90% of the people on Earth. So 
Uh, good luck. If you get any questions, don't hesitate to ask.